my job here is um, I'm a lecturer and I work at setting up labs. Uh, I instruct lab instructors in doing their labs. I also instruct students in term projects that they are required to do each semester. Uh, and I also run the uh, biology department's greenhouses, which are located behind the Hessler Biology Building. And another set is also located over on the center building on White Avenue. One of the uh, tools of uh, technology that I use is the clickers. That, and uh, we started using those two years ago. Uh, I know other people had been using them for many years, and I was a little slow about taking this uh, on in our class, uh, not having a good feel for how to uh, implement it and, and what, uh, what the outcome would be for it. Uh, but what I have found is uh, actually we've, even in our grades, we've seen from uh, the years before the clicker and the last two years of the clicker that the students did improve in their grade. Uh, and actually, in our, my evaluations that the students turned in at the end of the semester, all, almost all of them commented on the use of the clicker, found it to be a useful tool. It kept them attentive, and uh, actually attendance stays a little bit higher because they have a quiz every lecture period. And so uh, this was, uh, I, I have to thank uh, Christina Good for uh, instructing me on how to put this together, and she's been a great resource for any of the problems we've had uh, during the class or you know, problems with integrating it with the uh, Blackboard and so forth. One of the other uh, pieces of technology I also use is, of course, Blackboard. Uh, and I use it uh, for posting all my lectures prior to the class. I also post tests uh, prior to tests. And then we post uh, lab uh, PowerPoints uh, before class so they can, students can preview what's going to happen in lab. We also have uh, assignments we post in it. Uh, we have data sets that they generate from lab that we end up posting so they all have access to that. One of the other tools in Blackboard that I do use are wikis. I don't know if everybody's very familiar with them or not, but I use them as what we call a lab notebook when I have students working on independent projects. What I want to talk today about is the use of Google Blogger. Uh, as a uh, tool to use in your classroom activities. Uh, all the students in our general botany class, uh, the first semester, the 111 class, have to do a term project. And the term project they work on is looking at uh, a, basically a slice of life in the bottom of a pond, which we take out and put in a vessel that they can use then uh, to look at the organisms through the microscope which is set up here. And in this setup, we basically have a microscope that's connected to this computer so they can actually visually see what's inside their microaquarium, what they're called microaquariums. <clears throat> and um, what they are to do with this information is observe uh, what's going on inside the microaquarium, that is, what kind of organisms are in there, what they're doing, how many there are of them. And I help them identify these organisms and so we have names for those. And then we also manipulate this little environment uh, by adding a food pellet to it and watch the populations change over several weeks. And then we watch what happens after they have totally devoured this food source. And what we get, we basically get a population crash. And so they have to watch this over this five week period and record it. The device uh, is made from two what are called double microscope slide pieces that are, that are laminated together on three sides to make a vessel that looks like this. It is eight millimeters by five, I'm sorry, eight centimeters by five centimeters, and it's got a gap of about two millimeters. And this mounts on the microscope, and what you find are organisms like this. This is a cyclops. This is one of the larger organisms, and you might see smaller organisms moving around like this. These are the challenging things to identify. What I was trying to figure out is how to coordinate it by having some type of a hub, is what I want to call it, where I and the graduate students of the labs could see what the students are doing, but also each student could see what all the other students were doing. And I started out looking at the wiki that I had mentioned earlier in the Blackboard, but it just wasn't appropriate for that. And so I went to OIT. And uh, they directed me to Steve Chastine, 
who showed me what he di does with uh, bloggers in his one of the courses that he had taught. In this blog, what I have, just to give you an example, is the lab times. When the lab is open here, it's open about 17 hours. I'm here so the students can come in and look at their micro aquariums. And then we have information about how this, the blog is set up, I mean, I'm sorry, how the micro aquarium is set up, and it goes on and on down that way. But what I want to show you is then these other information sources, one of these being their water source. And so I put in an image of where it is, a description of what it is. And then I post the students who have use this water source uh, uh, in their micro aquariums. And so there are, I think, 12, 13 of these. As you scroll down through them, you'll see they're from different places, different students using them. But the things that they have to put in their blog, one is references. Here's a description of what they saw on that date. And then here's an image that uh, they had taken uh, and more the same. So these are weekly postings. I do use OIT quite often through their helpline, which is uh, 974-9900. It's a number I know very well. They've been very helpful in resolving problems with uh, uh, the turning point technology, the Blackboard, uh, and even going back to doing blogs and so forth. Uh, I find them the most useful tool. They've always been able to help with all my problems in Word and Excel. Uh, and other programs that we're working with. And so uh, they have been, for me, a great lifeline in terms of resolving things and getting things done quickly. Uh, and so I applaud them for the service that they provide to the students and faculty here at the University of Tennessee.